Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Tings to Think About. I'm Cozy Ann Marie. Get it? Cozy and Mary. Right, so what are you going to do? I'm going to film videos about education. You must have some talent then. Since I have no original thoughts of my own, I decided to go to the almighty Google, where I found ironic things that have happened. Number one, the Bible is the number one stolen book in America. So hopefully the criminals who stole it actually learned something. Number two, we all eat it. We all cry over it. McDonald's. But McDonald's had a warning page, and on the warning page, it specifically said to not eat its fries and burgers. Number three. <coughs> William Enno. This is William Enno. William Enno created things like the stop sign, the crosswalk, and other things I can't draw because I'm untalented. Since he made such majestical things for the road, you're probably thinking he was zooming everywhere. He was zooming there, he was zooming there, he was zooming up, down, everywhere, blood. No, he never learned to drive. He was a no, no, zoom, zoom boy, which maybe made him a sad no, zoom, zoom boy. Number four, Sweden has a very famous ice hotel that also for some reason has a smoke detector. Wait, is this a typo or something? Who writes this crap? Hello? Really? Okay, I'll tell them. It turns out some cat just had to go smoking in a supply closet one day, and so they actually put in smoke detectors. It's also good because some things can catch fire, like sleeping bags, pillows, and even reindeer skins. And last but not least, number five. In memory of George Harrison, the Beatles guitarist, that guy, in his memory, a park in Los Angeles planted a tree for him. One week later, it died. And you're probably asking yourself how. Beetle infestation. Which probably made the Beatles a very sad, sad boy band. Thanks so much for watching Tings to Think About. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I don't care how to do an end card, and I'm tired, so peace out! Thank you.